A very good morning. We are in the unit 4 of our subject Transmission Lines and RF Systems. The name of the unit is Waveguides. So we already know that the wave propagation can be in two types of medium. One is called as an unguided medium. The second one is a guided medium. Any free space propagation like the TV signals, radio signals etc take up a form of unguided propagation where they travel through free space. Whereas in the second type, the guided propagation, the waves travel within a restricted condition or within boundaries and that is what we call to be a guided propagation. And the waveguides are a form of a guided propagation of electromagnetic waves. So to define what waveguides are, waveguides are structures that propagate electromagnetic waves from point to point within which the fields are confined or restricted to a certain extent. So when we say that the waves travel from point to point, the transmission line also perfectly fits in this definition. But there are two main differentiations between transmission lines and waveguides. If we see in unit 1, 2 and 3, we saw the transmission lines where we used open wires and coaxial cables to transmit signals. Both the open wire line and coaxial cables contained only two conductors and they propagate only transverse electromagnetic wave. Whereas when we come to waveguide, the waveguide does not only contain two conductors, that restriction is not present here. It may contain any number of conductors or any number of dielectrics. It may contain no conductors at all and just purely dielectrics. And the second differentiation, it does not only propagate TEM waves, but the waveguides are capable of propagating three kinds of waves, namely the TE, that is transverse electric, TM, that is transverse magnetic, and TEM, the transverse electromagnetic waves. So the two differentiations between a waveguide and transmission lines, the first one, the restriction on number of conductors, and the second one, the type of wave that a waveguide propagates. And this construction of the waveguide, or this number of conductors and the transmission of waves, it depends on two main factors. The first one is the frequency of the signal we are going to make the wave to travel within a waveguide. And the second differentiation is the purpose of constructing a waveguide.